Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're changing things up a little bit in a different area of the house. Russ, come on, man! You okay? Russ, no bark. No bark. No barking. So Russ hasn't had a haircut in a really long time. Look at him. He's a little shaggy. Getting a haircut on Wednesday, right, boy? Okay, so I'm going to read an email for everyone. Um, I think I like this format. So usually the videos that I make, I get the ideas and topics from emails I receive from everyone and all these questions and, and things. So I'm just going to read the email word for word, not say the gentleman's name, and we'll go from there. It gives you a bit more perspective, a bit more background on, on what I'm talking about when the issue is here. And with so many of these emails, I can relate to a lot of these. I'm sure you can relate to a lot of these. You know, when... Uh, when you're in class and the teacher's like, make sure you ask a question because most likely the question you're going to ask, someone else has the same question. All right. Uh, dear Scott, I sometimes have slurring speech. Not always, but if I talk too long or when I'm tired, my speech sucks. And in turn, I get anxiety. I do have social anxiety, but not always. It just comes all of a sudden, especially when I have this slurred speech. I've improved a lot. Yeah, you have. But I'm going to have the first day in college, my first day at college next week, and I just don't want my social anxiety to play spoiled sport. First of all, my friend, congratulations on going to college, the next step in your education. Good for you. It'll really help you get a job, but university and college is not just a means to an end. No, no, no. The end is in itself. It's, it's great meeting people, learning new things, living on your own or away from home if you're doing that. Um, you're gonna have an amazing time. Let's talk about slurred speech. You know, I've had this happen to me so many times before. So many times, especially when I'm doing videos. I try not to do any cuts, but when there are cuts, it's either I say something offensive and then think about it again and say, I'm not gonna post that online. Or the other reason is I just really mess up. You've heard me say social situations. Those two words together, man, they kill me. They kill me. So, you have an issue with slurred speech, as many, many people do. I don't know how bad it is and what kind of level you're at, but I get that all the time. I remember there was this interview I had years ago, and I made the stupid mistake of, of going to this interview. It was at 10 in the morning, woke up at 9 o'clock, got to the interview, and the first words that came out of my mouth were to the interviewer. That is not smart. So what happened? Just like you said, I was tired, my brain wasn't warmed up, or your brain tired either in the morning or you're exhausted from a day of talking and then you get that slurred speech and that then you know gives you that social anxiety because you're like, oh my God, everyone thinks I'm a loser and I can't speak English, oh my God. What happened at that interview was, again, it was my first time speaking during the day. I wasn't warmed up, the vocal cords weren't warmed up, my brain was still done. It was, it was still like asleep basically. And I bombed that interview. Woo! That was so bad. Learning experience. Next interview I had. This was for, uh, for a summer job. Or no, uh, a job during... Focus, baby. A job during the school year. And um, the next time, again, interview was in the morning. What did I do? I called my mom. And on the way to the interview while I was walking... I spoke with my mom on the phone. Get the vocal cords warmed up. She asked, I'm just like, mom, just ask me random questions. Just let me, let me speak. Let me just talk about things. Let my brain warm up. Let me get some, you know, thoughts going and, you know, warm up my tongue and my throat and whatever. Now, that's one tip. So if you're tired in the morning, make sure before you go out into these social situations or before you meet people that you're kind of trying to, you know, maybe impress if it's your close friends. They don't care. Um, make sure you warm yourself up. Second thing I would do is if you've been, you said when you're tired too, if you've been talking all day. I get that too. I get that too. Many people do. Um, if you've been talking, have you ever given like long speeches or, or presentations and after a while you just really pay attention to what you're sounding like and how your voice sounds and how, how you're moving your mouth and if it's dry you're like, and like, oh my God, everyone can hear that shit. I get that sometimes and I understand. This is not 
This is like a lid from a um, a spray bottle. Don't worry, it's just vinegar in the spray bottle. I usually use a wine cork. Um, honestly, if you need to carry a wine cork around, just carry a wine cork around or something this size. What happens when you're talking all day is your jaw can lock up and it just gets so tired because it's always active. The only time your jaw is not active is when A, you're sleeping or it's propped up by something and I've shown this in other videos is if you've been talking all day and then you start slurring, take a five minute break if you can. Say I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, 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 that feels so good. It feels so good because it's stretched out and therefore not being used and it just relaxes your jaw muscles. That's one thing I would really recommend. Another thing, actually let's make it three things. Act like a fool, sound like a fool. Really. Before you're, before you're going and speaking with whoever you need to speak to and you're afraid you're going to slur your speech, remember the warm-up. I talked to my mom. You can talk to whoever. Really pronunciate certain words to get warmed up. Talk like this. <laughs> Do it. It helps. It helps warm up the lips and the face and everything you need to speak and do some of these. Just really, it's about warming up. I used to go to the gym and I just start bench pressing. What an idiot I used to be. That is not smart. Now, I warm up my shoulders for like 20 minutes and then you go do bench press and do your exercise. You need to warm up before you do something. That can just be talking. It doesn't need to be physical exercise. This is your body. This is your body. Warm it up, baby. So I really hope that helps my friend. Um, you know, I totally understand how that can trigger your social anxiety because, you know, when something like, like that happens, hey, just hear that? That was, that was a little slurridge. When something like that happens, when you're slurring your speech, you can think, oh my God, everyone's, everyone's paying attention. Um, but do the warm ups. And if you do slur, this is maybe the biggest point. If you're, I should have said this at the beginning. If you're slurring your speech, who gives a shit? Come on, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I know you care, but don't care because they don't care. If you're like, hi, my name is, just be like, sorry, let me try that again. Hi, my name is, kind of make fun of it. Go with the flow. Poke fun at yourself. Say, hey, it's been a long day. I've been speaking all day. Now blah, 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 blah. Have some fun with it. I hope that helps. Take care. I hope that helps uh, other people as well who are, who are slurring a little bit. Pronunciate, warm up, and have some fun.